Hello, my name is Anastasia, and today I will be guiding you through how to access your virtual convention session. So you can deliver your absolute best to all our Sword Experience members. First of all, I would like you to open Google Chrome. Then go into your email inbox. You would have received an email over the last 24 hours from one of our lovely representatives. Go ahead and check your inbox as well as your junk folder for this invite. The subject header will be Invite for Sword XP Virtual Con. Click on this email. You will see the click the join button highlighted in blue. But before we dive into that, I'm going to get you to press click here underlined at the bottom of your email. This will take you to your Google Calendar where you can set a reminder for your speaking engagement. This will be pre-filled with your unique details, so there's no need to do anything else, just click save. Now your schedule and the reminder are saved on your calendar. Take a deep breath, ease into your day. I'll see you 20 minutes before you're due to go on stage. The crowd is warmed up and ready for your session. The lights are beginning to fade down and you're about to go on stage in the next 20 minutes. Let's guide you to your backstage area. Head back to that email we had opened earlier and click that blue click to join button on the bottom of the page. This is your one-time personal link to the backstage area. If for some reason this is broken, you can troubleshoot by heading to this website. Enter the pin you've been provided with. Okay, now you see that we are in the backstage area on the floor app. You will know you're backstage when you see the red backstage button on the bottom left of the screen. This is your own private lounge where you will be able to chat with the event organizers who will prep you for your live session. They will be able to see and hear you in this lounge and chat with you through your webcam. Now we are here in the backstage area. Let's get acquainted with how to use the floor interface for the best experience today. I'm gonna to give you a brief overview of the buttons you will be using. Here on the right-hand side, you will see a few options that will help you connect more closely with your attendees. The discussion button or the discuss button. This button is available backstage as well as when you go live. You may view and participate in the discussions with two different groups. First and foremost, you can chat with your audience. You can read their public chats and can also write your own comments in the chat window to keep the conversation going or answer on webcam. You can also chat with your fellow panelists. Here you will be able to exchange private messages among the speakers, hosts, and moderators. the Q&A button. You can view the questions raised by the attendees here and answer them in the chat dialog or on video. The panelists button. This allows you to view all the speakers and admins and their respective profiles. You can also connect with them via messages by clicking on their profile picture. The handouts button. If you have any brochures or handouts, click on the handouts on the right hand side of the screen. A black rectangular screen will open. Click on the small white page on the bottom of the rectangle called Manage Handouts. Simply toggle your mouse over it, then you can just drag and drop your handouts into the personalized digital handout bag. You can manage, upload, publish, and unpublish session-specific handouts from here. This button allows you to upload any required files, brochures, or videos. 
please note that the file size maximum is up to six megabytes. Your audience can then view and download them from the handout section. Next, we have a few basic icons below to help you take control of your speaking session. Most importantly, we have the mic icon. You can mute and unmute yourself by clicking on this icon while you're on backstage or on stage. Similarly, you can turn your camera on and off by clicking the camera icon. The present icon. This will allow you to share your screen and presentations with the audience. You can press the leave dialog at any time to stop sharing the screen and end the session. The full screen icon. You can enlarge your screen by clicking on the highlighted button and then get back to normal by clicking again or simply press escape. The exit room icon. You can exit the session and room entirely by clicking on this option. We're now set with using the floor interface and you're ready to go live. Please make sure your mic is muted and then press the green go live button on the upper right hand corner of the toolbar. If your session is being hosted, wait for the event organizer to give your introduction, then feel free to unmute your mic and begin your session. We ask that anytime you're not speaking for an extended period during your session, that you mute your mic in front of the audience by pressing the mute icon. Have a great and thought provoking session out there on the stage. Make sure to have fun. Good luck. Now that your session is over, our event staff will end your session and you will be taken to the main hall of the virtual convention. You will see there are four distinct sections of the event, speakers, stage, lounge, and booths. Stage. If you would like to attend any of the other stage sessions, just go to the stage button and click on it and click the join button for the session you wish to attend. You will find every session status based on their timing. For example, live, start shortly, or ended. Enter your PIN to access these sessions. Remember the unique PIN was emailed to you. Simply enter that into the PIN box and press enter to access any other speaking sessions. Please note, you may only join the backstage of sessions where you were one of the speakers of that session. The lobby. This will show you the list of fellow attendees. You can search any attendees by their name or company. You can view their profile and can connect directly with them one-to-one -one by clicking on their respective profile picture. the lounge. You can grab a table here and up to three others can join you. We ensure that your event is interactive and engaging. So we allow an open networking opportunity among one another when desired. Here you can grab a seat at any of the open networking tables and network with others anytime during the event. However, if they want, they may switch back to a live session at any time. The VIP lounge. On the left panel of your screen, you can see the VIP lounge. Here you can enter your own private room after your session ends. It gives attendees an opportunity to interact with you either through chat or in-person meeting. Up to eight, including you can be in this room. Think of it as a boardroom. Once you enter the room, you can video chat with your user one at a time. Boots. You can see all the participating merchandisers, their profiles, and download their brochures by pressing this button. You can navigate to an, an exhibit booth by pressing on the booth's name. 
In the booth, you will be presented with two main options. You can either press the blue watch button to view a trailer or overview of the products being sold. You can also press the join the waiting room dialog to enter a queue to chat directly with the salesperson via webcam and organize the purchase. In addition to these, you may view the salesperson's brochure handouts by pressing the handouts in the right hand toolbar. Thank you for tuning in to the tutorial today. I hope you have a fantastic time at the Sword Experience Convention.